This is wonderful. This is called the Chop and Strain Board Colander Combination. 4.3 stars out right, right now. It's a, a huge customer pick. And we just aim to make cooking easier. It's all about simplifying your life. So I'm going to bring in my girl, Carrie Maletto, uh, hey. who is also a great cook and a expert in the kitchen when it comes to gadgets. Good morning to Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I love this. This is one of those things that when you say innovative and you go and you look at it, you go, wait a second. Then when you figure out how you could use it, you go, wait. This idea, that idea, this idea. Obviously, it was created to replace these things. Your colander, your strainer, the big cumbersome cutting boards that, that we have, right, that are heavy <laughs> and they're all over the place. So getting rid of those, all you need is the chop and strain. First off, I want to point out that when it's stored, it's only one inch. Okay. Um, when you look at the top of it, it's 16 by 12 inches, just so you can get a size reference. Sure. But when I bring it down, I've got a professional cutting surface right here. But watch what happens. Happens when I just pull, I press down and pull up on either side, it becomes a basin, awesome. a colander. Awesome. And the way it becomes a colander is here is actually the straining area that just by pressing it down, it releases. And if there were any water in here, as I brought it over to my sink to uh -huh. rinse off my sure. veggies, that water would strain right out from the same vessel. When I'm done straining and draining, I bring it right back over to my area to cut and I'm making my salad right there. Uh, it's so convenient. Good about time. Is it? It's a slim profile. Yes. So it's also, it's pretty easy to store, right? Absolutely. So one inch when it's storing. So if you are looking right now at getting out there and you say, you know what? I want to get out in my RV, my boat. I want to get out by the grilling area. I want to, you know, take this. There's so many places you end up taking this, by the way. But what's nice is as you're building your salads, as you're building your foods, I'm just going to move these over so I have my bowl. Sure. If I were done with this now... I don't know about you, but with lettuce, I rinse it before I start. Absolutely. And you can only get in so many areas. Sure. But when I'm done, I like to rinse it one more time. So now it's already there. I take it to the sink. I rinse it off. I again compress that strainer area so the water strains right out. I uh -huh. shaky, shaky. I come right back to my bowl and I can pop it right in to serve. This is eliminating having bowls, Absolutely. cutting bowls, strainers, like 500 different things to get one job done. I mean, you're having to wash more dishes but what's great about this is the first time we've offered this with the free shipping yes so definitely get it home and try it it's absolutely worth it and all you do is choose your color uh, we have silver that she's chopping on now which is white and it's trimmed in that silver or white and it's trimmed in the red and it's it's only $19.95 so I mean, you're basically not having to wash the bowl and then wash the colander and then wash the chopping board. You're saving time, so you're saving money. Uh, that's what I love. And then you the fact that you can use this as storage, look at how it collapses. It's so, so cool. Yeah. And when you're doing citrus, by the way, because we're going to start having some yummy, yummy citrus oh, yeah, soon. Absolutely. And when you have your citrus, what I love also is that this area around here kind of becomes your catch-all. Okay. Because when, you, when you're cutting things that actually are quite juicy, what happens? The juice runs off, it goes all over your counter. So I love that that actually serves another purpose and being able to catch all of that and keep your counter space clean. I actually was telling you earlier when my husband and I were eating some citrus, mm -hmm. we used the chop and strain. We <laughs> leaned <laughs> over it. We were like sitting in the living room and we leaned over it and just ate all our citrus and then left the rinds in there uh -huh. and none of the juice got all over the place and I love that and I just took this over to the sink I, or the trash can, dumped out the rinds, wiped it down and I was all done. So various different ways you can use this. Let's go to the fridge real quick if sure. you don't mind absolutely i want to show you that maybe you're going to use your chop and strain to keep things in your refrigerator organized this is the time of year we're going to farmers markets right right so maybe you're going to get your fresh berries so here i actually have my strawberries and what i love about this is maybe your shelf is like this you can do this at what i call half mast so this just means a half this is seven quarts or 28 cups when fully open so you're actually getting a half open right here so it can fit into your refrigerator. I'm going to grab my cucumbers out, which I actually have a whole bunch of. And again, look how I can hold this. I like to bring this to the store with me. And that might sound silly at first, but let me let me tell you, I don't like putting things in plastic bags. I'm going to yeah. take this right to the sink. Well, it's not good for the environment. So exactly. if you're environmentally friendly, you'll love this for the storage and going to your farmer's market. I think that's a fantastic idea. You know, and so I can see what I'm buying because if they're in plastic bags, I forget what's in there and I'm like, right. what am I doing? Okay, so I'm just going to take a few of these out because I just want to do a couple. So maybe I want to have these guys. I take it right to my sink. I pop on my water. 
Just give it a minute to just get pump in there. And I can rinse all my veggies. If you have something you like to use, there's a lot of different kind of cleaners out there and various things, no problem. You can use that in your chop and strain. And then when you're done, you're just gonna pop over and push your strainer. Cause remember I said, the strainer's right there. All you have to do is pop it. You can hear it straining so you out. You just push that little button. You just push a little button and everything's all done. And then I can come over and I can cut my cucumbers in just a moment. Now the strainer that you couldn't see, come over here. Aww. It's quite powerful actually. Our little, our little duckies are taking a bath. Um, you may not use this for rubber duckies, but hey, you could. Um, <laughs> it's really just to prove a point. I want you to see what happens to the rubber duckies. When we let go of the spout, all I did was press it. Look how much water is coming out. Right. So this is straining very effectively, very, very practically. And I, my duckies are going down. Okay, so duckies <laughs> are going down. It's just so you can see, even with a full basin, if you want to let your veggies sit, a lot of times we like to give them a nice bath and right. let them sit and you should. Especially if you're, you know, cooking like collard greens for my southern girls. Totally. You've really got to make them, you know, just pristine, clean because they can't be gritty. This yeah. is wonderful because you really do have to, it, there's a lot of stuff out there that says pre-wash, but they tell you all the time, wash it anyway. And, yes. and you won't feel uh, inconvenienced with this. You'll just throw everything in there, whether it's your lettuce or your greens or your kale, put it in there, hit that little button, and it's all gonna drain. I love it's that you fun. did the little ducky presentation. Isn't that fun? I know, it's yes. just kind of a fun way to show something. But you know, but this right here again, this is the area that when it pops up, this is gonna go ahead and spout. It's a perfectly great uh, drain spout there. And this is when I bring it up halfway point and then you can bring it up full. Again, seven cups or uh, seven quarts or 28 cups when in full form here. So this is gonna give you a lot of capacity. If you're thinking about using this when you go to your farmer's markets, when you're out, you know, maybe eating outside, look what uh -huh. we've done with our corn. This is, I think it was 16 ears of corn that wow. we actually placed in That's here. So of, yeah. maybe you're prepping to take it over to the grill. Right. Maybe you just wanna take it outside. What happens is once you have this, you start thinking about so many ways to use, use this. It. I actually uh -huh. had, um, I was, we were just talking with some friends and they're like, I would totally bring that to the beach and like put shells and put different things in there. And I'm like, you could. That is because my, I, that's a good thing because my seven year old, every time we go to the beach and I think it gets old, but we've lived here for two years and it doesn't. And he said, mommy, I picked y'all's shells. I picked y'all's shells. And I'm like, oh no, I have sand everywhere. But if he would put the shells in there and then we could rinse them all off because he yep. saves them. Yep. And um, then he's got a shell collection. That's a perfect way to do it. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, that's, so, it, that, it's really what they call the multi-purpose master. Yeah. You make it your own, but it is the multi-purpose master. Because you can also use this as a bowl if you want. Absolutely. And you know, again, just remember your cutting surface. You don't want to cut over the spout. So just keep, you know, working your cutting surface over here as I'm doing. Um, this is a professional cutting surface. So you're going to get still that same high quality that you would expect from a really qu high quality cutting board. Mm -hmm. But you're getting a cutting board that has multiple purpose. So again, if I wanted to do an extra rinse on this, I could bring it up just like this, take it over to my sink, mm -hmm. push my spout when I'm ready. And then when these are done and completely drained, I, I pop them right into my bowl and I'm done. Well, it's the Whoops. perfect time. Uh, it, it's always good to lose a, a cucumber every now and then. Yay! Hey. <laughs> Be <laughs> free! <laughs> but it's springtime. So if you love springtime and you fix a lot of salads and fruit salads, exactly. this is going to be perfect for you to serve as that colander number one. Um, and then also as your your cutting board and as your bowl if you want to you know then put it in here it's nice and pretty absolutely you could definitely serve it out of there if you wanted for to. presenting absolutely and it's got anti-slip feet I don't want to forget to point that out so when you're working with this it's going to actually keep in place which I actually really like because with cutting boards you don't want your cutting boards moving around a lot of us put paper towels and different things under our cutting boards right. to keep them this is lightweight as can be it's again going to store with only one inch and you're getting a 12, uh, 16 by 12 inch cutting area over here. So keep in mind, this is gonna be your catch-all for all your juices. This is gonna give you a professional cutting surface, but it's also gonna give you that draining bowl uh, ability. So seven quarts or 28 cups, wow. which is quite that, large. Uh, and then it collapses so beautifully, it's such a thin profile, it's easy to store. Yeah. So you know how we showed this big block I know, again? Yeah. <laughs> you and know it's how heavy. hard this is to store? Yeah. Well, do you want this or do you want... <laughs> 
this. That's it. <laughs> and this is the first time we've offered this product since January, free shipping. So $19 to, and some change to get it home. You will use this all spring, all summer. And it also makes a great gift if, if for somebody like, you know, hostess, yeah. housewarming, weddings are around the corner, something that you can use. Carrie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's I, always I fun with you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, I know, I love it. Okay. <laughs>